There are two ways to play the heaviest roller in the game of Splatoon. Die no <laughs> or Dino no Trust me, the learning curve on this baby is well huge. This video will have three parts. Part one. The things Dynamo stinks at. Ink efficiency. You get five swings on a normal ink tank. Learn how to mind your ink before you're stuck with nothing. Speed. Dynamo is slow, slow, slow. For perspective, the carbon can do three, three, three in the time it takes Dynamo to do one. If you miss, you are Dead. It don't really roll neither. Rick rolling opponents is not recommended since its speed leaves much to be desired. If you fail, you are dead. dead. Part two. The thing Dynamo rocks at. Intimidation. The Dynamo is impressive. If you learn to land your swing, people will be forced to stay back from your giant pull of death. Versatility. This baby inks, especially more than the other rollers. This baby has range. And dynamos can change direction while flicking for some really satisfying gameplay. Part three. General tips. Know your flick. Choosing when and why to use the horizontal versus the vertical comes with experience experience in understanding the range at which your opponents are going to be when you finish your slow, slow dynamo swing. Yet in general, horizontal for ink and zoning, vertical for snipe and for paths. Mind your ink. Dynamo is powerful, but the trade-off for the power is the low ink efficiency. Yet, if you learn to mind your ink usage and anticipate what swing to use, you'll learn to improve. Get high. This roller is much more difficult to approach when it is above its opponents. Rain down your ink. Channel your inner. Obi-Wan Kenobi have the high ground. Hope this helps you dine. <laughs> oh, dying.